January the 28th, 1986, was a cold, bitterly cold day at Kennedy Space Center, but the sun was brilliant as it shined on the orbiter as the Space Shuttle Challenger launched into space. Within seconds, we lost the shuttle and that beloved crew. What happened, um, historians know, solid rocket booster failed. Um, it exploded in midair into a million pieces, just like our hearts. Uh, years later, my daughter wrote a letter to the children of the Columbia astronauts who had died. And she said, uh, everyone in the nation saw that accident. We saw it on television uh, many times every day. Um, the nation wanted to say goodbye to our heroes, our, our space pioneers. Me, she said, I just wanted to say goodbye to my daddy. When we lost the Challenger 7 in 1986, uh, my beloved husband was the commander on board uh, with a school teacher, Krista McAuliffe. Uh, people everywhere in the nation were waiting for lessons from that beloved teacher. And my children and I were waiting for their dad and for him to return to us. But we lost them just as they launched um, at Kennedy Space Center on that cold January day. There were lessons to be taught aboard Challenger to children all over the world, but instead we learned other lessons. We learned not to take life for granted. There are people everywhere that lose loved ones, but if you can remember that those loved ones have transitioned into a new life and that their spirit remains with you, that everyone in life seeks to know where they are in life and wonders about that future afterlife. Uh, we know because our loved ones are in heaven and we all accept the power of believing that God has embraced them. We learned many good lessons.